but probably where we where we should start here is how did you come about to come and writing a book like this? This isn't yeah, your yeah. typical type no, of it's, it's, thing it's, you would start out with. It's more hard work than a than a than a standard journal. And I think that's that's the thing when it comes to mental health. It shouldn't be easy. It shouldn't be. The thing is, you're you're guided towards asking yourself questions that you probably wouldn't ask yourself naturally if you had a blank journal. You know, even even avid journalers they they think that they deal with the best way I describe it is you know we go it's like Pokemon, right? We go around life collecting all these different s types of trauma. And when you tell, tr when you speak to people about trauma, they expect it's something catastrophic in their life. When, when actually it's just, it can be anything. It can be the loss of a, a family pet. It can be a breakup. It can be a promotion that you think you deserve and you never got it. And you go about life collecting these little bits of trauma. And some people believe that they maybe deal with them. Others don't deal with them at all. And eventually they bubble up and and uh, boil over and it's something simple like somebody cutting you up in the motorway or jumping in front of you in the queue in Asda or Tesco and, and all of a sudden you just break down and, and you, you give yourself a hard time about breaking down because you think why am I breaking down over something quite simple when actually it could be could be a breakup it could be that that job that you never thought where well, you didn't get that you thought you deserved and that was kind of the way it was with me really um, so I used to suffer from from really bad anxiety to the point where it stopped me being who I wanted to be and um, as I got older I didn't really find it a problem you know it was a protective measure for myself and and there was a reason why I believed that it was it was protecting me um, but I started to see it then impact in other people and it was mainly relationships and uh, there was this one particular girl that actually um, she gave me a bit of post relationship criticism or feedback with some um, constructive, criticism. constructive criticism a debrief yeah, exactly a bit of a debrief <laughs> yeah and uh ex-military so i'm used to a debrief yeah. and um she said to me you know if you if you don't open up or you don't allow yourself to open up you'll just continue in that cycle you know mm. whether it's a negative cycle or not and there was just something about the way that she said it and how she said it it sort of struck home it's not been the first time i've heard it um but it was almost the last time i'd heard it um, and she was an avid journaler so I thought okay I'm going to give this journal a little go and I don't know if it's my ex-military experience but or my militant mind or my militant mum but um, the I made sure that I couldn't just write in a blank journal without any format or in, without any structure so um, I made sure just at the end of, of each entry I would force myself to just talk about how I felt emotionally about that so whether I was talking about this podcast today I would put a little bit of entry of how I felt emotion, how I felt emotionally about this situation, um, and I only done it for like a few days to a week, and I started to see a huge change in myself. Like, just naturally became a lot more open, and the more open I came, the more I got to look into my own anxieties and where they stemmed from. But I was super interested in in how these changes came about. You know, there's, was there any science to back that up? And what I done was I found out I was engaging in expressive writing before. I had any clue what expressive writing was. So I ended up going down a little bit of a rabbit hole with expressive writing. I ended up looking into positive psychology and then found positive psychology. What is, it, what, what is expressive writing? So expressive writing is from your core without regards to modern writing conventions, i.e. spelling, punctuation, grammar. So it's just writing what's in here and in here. Um, so it's just literally getting that sort of information that's maybe rattling around in your brain onto a piece of paper and it's mm. just the actual process of getting it out is like therapy in its own right like 